And then we've got Rouge Vif. Uh, Rouge Vif, talking of nice form, as we have been, uh, Rouge Vif has got some very nice form from the, the, that good kingmaker chase at Warwick. Yeah, he's a, he's a horse I love. Um, tries for every, every yard. Um, the kingmaker was brilliant. Um, that was a good buzz. Uh, but that day it was good ground, popped out with him, and every, every step that we went, it was just a nice trail. Um, he tries for he jumped very quick that day, put his head down at the back of the last and gave it his all. But he's a, he's a good horse. Uh, I think now that he probably wants to step up and trip. And Nuba Negra, who, uh, which was successful on that occasion, clearly, you know, that is is a, a, a very talented animal, isn't it? Very talented. So no disgrace to be beaten by that. No, exactly. Um, you know, he, he he's won with a, a good turn of foot. Um, whereas Rouge Vif, you jump out, go your gallop, and you know you, you'll have to fight to get past them. So, uh, and as a physical specimen, Gavin, uh, how would you describe Rouge Vif? Very athletic horse. Um, you know, you look at him and you, you're thinking he, he's a speed horse in a sense. Not that he's narrow. He's, he's actually quite a nice, strong, sturdy type. But um, he's a he's a forward going horse as well. But he's all there. And in terms of uh, stamina and distance, you're talking about maybe uh, stepping up a, a little bit. Yeah, over two miles, you'd have to bounce out and go a strong gallop. But there was. You know, at that grade, grade one level, there was always one that was a little bit quicker. So I thought stepping up and trip might be the way to go forward. And I think, you know, he, he, he's, he's got more stamina and he's got more to give. And you said he gave you a real buzz in the, in the Kingmaker because it's a proper race, isn't it? And it was a proper performance. Yeah, it was a serious performance. Um, you know, it's all about speed. And you, know, you get them five fences down at Warwick. Um, and, you know, each fence he came to, he just he puts his head down, quickens down into them. Uh, but no, he, he's a very classy animal. And everyone talks about those fences, those five fences at Warwick. So on Rouge Vif at Warwick, those five fences, just talk us through it. What, what, what does it feel like? There, there, there are five fences that come up quick and, uh, you know, you have to be quick in your feet and you need one that will go down and attack him. Um, otherwise, it can be five fences that get in the way. But he went down and you normally don't meet them all on the right stride, but he went down and because he was he was so good. He went down and just attacked him, and you know I, I was gaining, gaining lengths, jumping in fences. So you could see him as a, a real nice prospect going forward at a at a slightly longer distance. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, there, there's uh, there's more and more. To, he's got more to give, and uh, you know you, you could step up to step up and trip. You could even step up to three miles. I wouldn't be afraid of it. But uh, you know he's uh, he's a he's a bit of a legend. And I, I like his versatility as well. I remember him winning a pretty decent hurdle race, didn't he? Uh, did he go to Kelso and win a decent Kelso hurdle race? Kelso won a great two above there. Yeah. Um, you know, that was our first time stepping up to 2-2 and we weren't sure about the trip, but I, I was quite keen on him stepping up to 2-2. Um, but it, like he, he's got bags of speed that day above in Kelso. I went a nice gallop, but I, I know that when I jumped the last one down the back, I was able to just sit, sit up in him and just ease up in him a small, but just fill him up. and. I know that I could quicken because when I turned in that day, I gave him a bit of a kick in the belly. He took off of me.